Welcome to Supreme Sports. David and Vinny here. We're here to talk about the NFL awards for this year and who we think is going to win it. What are your thoughts? For me, I think a lot of what I've been reading, and it's not just because I'm a 49ers fan, I just know how great of a coach Kyle Shanahan is. Uh, Kyle Shanahan, potentially coach of the year. Nick Bosa, he got injured last year towards ACL, just like a lot of other NFL players. It was ridiculous as, as far as what that NFL decided to do and no preseason games or anything like that. The and Football is an extremely violent sport and we all enjoy watching it, but you need to get the players ramped up so they don't hurt themselves, so we can continue watching them, so they can get their paychecks. And overall, just the natural flow of things can happen. But I think Kyle Shanahan's gonna win Coach of the Year. I think, I think Nick Bosa could win Depoid. It, it'll it'll depend on if he's fully if, healthy. Fully, yeah. If he's fully healthy, I think he has a very very good chance. And I think Lance could potentially win Offensive Rookie of the Year. But I, for me, I think that's more going to be Trevor Lawrence because he's going to step right into that quarterback role. Yeah. And he's going to play. Whereas Lance, he's got. I think he's got more talent than Lawrence. Just raw talent, mm -hmm. but the plan is for him to sit behind Garoppolo and learn, and whenever he's ready to take the reins, they they're thinking Zach Wilson might be one of them, and I don't know, I don't, I don't, see, I don't see Zach Wilson being being a offensive. Offensive Rookie of the Year, just because he's... He seems like he's a project. He might he, he, he's definitely a, a project. Years. He's definitely a project. He'll, he'll take time to go. I think he's another Kirk Cousins, honestly. And with the Jets, I think it's even... It's even more of a project. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's not just a project for the quarterback. It's a project for the franchise. The Jets are... <laughs> the Jets. Yeah. They are... I, I, I don't even know what to say. Like, they're... Just a smidge above the, like, the Browns. If they, even if they know, like, even if they ever, like, get good, I think they were good for a few years of Rex Ryan. I feel like most people knew they were not going to win. Yeah. Because it's the Jets. Who do you think is going to win defensive rookie of the year? Because I am... Well, first, a lot of my take on my side, I have the same opinion well, as you. Well, we didn't cover defensive rookie of the year. That's, I don't know too many, like, I don't know. Because the not a lot of them got drafted. Uh, well, there well, were some corners. Well, I feel like most of the awards, I feel like they always... One of the factors that they factor into is like a surprise. Like, yeah. I feel like if there's, it's a surprise um, that they got to that level or got that many, like... I think most of like, the rookie of the years is off stats mainly. The, their stats and then there's expectation. If, yeah. If, if so they expect Trevor Lawrence I, to do well. This might be a bold prediction, but maybe not so bold. I don't know. He... He's on the Giants. He got drafted in the second round, but he was projected to go in the first round, I think. Defensive end Aziz Ojiwari or Ojiwari. He was supposed to go in the first round. I don't know if we'll have like a defensive MVP candidate for the Giants, but I think he might be a good choice to be defensive rookie of the year. Um, and then coach of the year, just because of surprise factor, I don't think anybody has the Giants going anywhere this year. Maybe like max six five wins, but I think I'm gonna go with Joe Judge on that. And is that because you're a Giants fan, or is it's that... a little bit of both? <laughs> because he he actually did pretty good last year for what he had, especially with all the injuries. Fair. Um, and then MVP. This is gonna be a bold prediction. I think Daniel Jones will pop this year, and he'll surprise everyone. Nah. <laughs> or nah. they might not get it because Saquon Barkley will also be back and they might fight for it. Because I think they're going to... I could, I could see Saquon. He has a lot of weapons. Nah. Daniel Jones has a lot of weapons. Nah, nah, if he's not go. able to at least 
compete for the MVP this year, he's not the one. If he keeps tripping, he's not going to win anything. Hey, he, he <laughs> was pretty fast, okay? That was pretty fi fast for a white, white guy. Honestly, I think MVP is probably going to be A-Rod again. A-Rod? Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't think he's going to... I mean, I think I, he's he, have a great he, year. He's mad. He's mad. I don't but think I he's think, like gonna... Well, okay, let me, let me backtrack. I think it'll be maybe A-Rod or Patrick Mahomes. Yeah. Well, I'll slip the Daniel Jones in there, but Patrick Mahomes and A-Rod are always obviously there. Yeah, they're... they're... But you just like... You'd be, you'd be stupid not to include them. Hell, it could even be Tom Brady because... I don't know about Tom Brady. Well, like you said, Daniel Jones has a lot of weapons. Tom Brady has... He's rich, full of weapons. Yeah. Oh, and he's the way, got the experience to back it up. I don't know how this is gonna work out, but I uh, guess who the Giants signed as a third tight end recently? Who? Remember Kelvin Benjamin, who used to play receiver for. Yeah. Uh, he's a tight end. He's playing. He the Giants signed him as a tight end for the third, the third tight end. I don't know if he's gonna make the roster, but he was good that first year with Carolina, and he kind of fell off. I think he had like weight, yeah, weight issues. Or do something. we do we do we blame that on Kelvin Benjamin, or do we blame that on Cam Newton because? Cam Newton was playing under Bill Belichick. A little bit of both. He got injured was the first or second year. And then he came back and he wasn't the Cam same. Newton was playing under Bill Belichick. And still, he, he... I mean, he didn't play that great. He played decent. But nothing like... I don't even know if Kevin Benjamin's going to make the roster. I'm just saying that he has the talent. That's probably why they at least put him in the roster. They just wanted to see what he still has left. I want to, you know what I want to see? I want to see the 49ers go out and get Zach Ertz because he's going Is to he be on the free agent? I believe so. Nobody said I want to, or, or either the free agent or he's on the trade block. Um, I know he wasn't happy with I him. Wanna, I want to see the 49ers get him and have like a George Kittle, Zach Ertz, a one-two punch. I think that would be, I think Kyle Shanahan could make some magic happen with that. He's, again, an offensive genius. And overall, who, we, we kind of skipped over. Who do you think? You you went over MVP. You went over coach. Coach and uh, defensive, defensive rookie. rookie. Who do you think is going to win offensive player of the year? And who do you think is going to win? Off. Uh, is it MVP and offensive player of the year? Yeah. I said, oh, deep I didn't really just say. I said defensive rookie of the year. Mm -hmm. um, offensive player of the year. Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, I want to say either Christian McCaffrey or I think Saquon. I think usually it's uh, or Alvin Kamara. It's usually the running backs that like to win offense with the or like receivers. Who have, like, CMC, I can see winning it. Just because they they are so versatile and they can score and get yards in so many ways. But McCaffrey is win. just Saquon too. He's Saquon just hasn't been healthy. Yeah, but McCaffrey is more of a. You know what's the worst he, thing? He's he's, he's like. A Swiss Army knife, just a really, really, really good one. Well, yeah, but so so Quan's basically the same thing, but he just uh, didn't have any weapons around him. I feel like, um, so basically, and he's so much bigger than McCaffrey that the defense focuses more on him. I feel like, so once he gets the ball, they're all there. All the defenders are right at him. And the last couple of years, the Giants didn't really have any other weapons. So the, his best year was with Odell when Odell was still de still there because he had Odell as a threat. Mm -hmm. But after that, the, this last year he he was playing injured. How many years have, have we had him? Three. Mm -hmm. And then who do you think is going to be defensive player of the year? <clears throat> defensive player of the year. Nick Bosa is a good one. I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure on Nick Bosa yet just because of his health. I don't know if he's 100 percent there yet. Even his brother, Joey Bosa. Yeah, Joey, Joey's good too. TJ Watt. TJ Watt was, I think, one of the finalists this year, wasn't he? I think so. Or did he, who won this year? Oh, and obviously Aaron Donald. I think those Aaron were Donald. Good. I think Aaron Donald was the one who won. Yeah. Uh, the other one is Khalil Mack. I think Khalil Mack is still the only thing with Khalil We Mack forgot is... about him because he's in Chicago. Yeah. Well, that first year with Chicago was crazy. Yeah, I mean, the, it, was, it was more of a like a team effort. It I wasn't think, just Khalil Mack. They had more of a well-rounded defense. But 
when you have Trubisky as your quarterback, there's only so much you can do. Yeah, I think that's the reason why they didn't have such a great year this year. because Not just because Trubisky was there, but because they knew if they got down at all, Trubisky was not going to bring them back. So yeah, they were basically he's... just defending <clears throat> and trying, risking their, their butts out there for nothing. Yeah, he's, uh, he's definitely... What, Not yeah. someone who can yeah, close that one The other thing I want to mention <laughs> is Julio Jones to the 49ers. Again. It's gonna happen. Are you speaking it into existence? I'm going to speak it into existence. Did he have a good year last year? I think. Well, I think he had a sneaky I mean, good year. I didn't really hear much about him, but apparently he, I think he slid over a thousand yards. And I don't know if he had that many touchdowns, but... He was, he was over the thousand yards. Yeah. I think Julio Jones, if he's going to go any, the Falcons are looking at trading him regardless. And if he's going to go anywhere, I think the 49ers would be perfect. I think Shanahan will make a play for him because he's played for him. And there's that relationship, there's that bond. Overall, I think he. he fit seamlessly because we have so many weapons Julio yeah. Jones is just like the icing on the cake yeah I don't think they're planning on to be him I think they strapped their another receiver in the first round again and they have Calvin Ridley too yeah Calvin Ridley is there and then they kind of did something similar I remember feels like it doesn't feel that long ago whenever Julio was kind of new and they had Roddy White yeah Julio Jones and Roddy White they just yeah. like drafting receivers them in uh, Pittsburgh they always have receivers yeah there's that what do you guys think or who do you think is going to win these NFL awards next year? Let us know. Drop it down in the comments below. Smash that like button. Subscribe. And give us your thoughts. We're more, we love the feedback. And we would love to improve based on you guys. You guys are going to be the ones watching. So let us know. Have a good one. Peace. Peace.